WCDC's first ever special event. Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Harding and welcome to the Lockdown Cup Indy vs Formula E. You will notice that we've made some changes to the track and to the videos. In fact, we are now trialling highlights videos only to give you guys a greater watching experience. But as you are about to see, Group A of this tournament put on such a show, we have only excluded one lap. Let's get to the racing. Up we have Sasquatch versus Angron Ragefist. Sasquatch in that blue Indy and Angron Ragefist in that black Formula E car. That, in fact, that was my first Formula E car. Um, that was in last year's Lockdown Cup. And it did pretty good. It was driven by Michael... Uh, Michael Phelps, but it's not doing overly good work, well, it's made it to the finish, but Sasquatch really did uh, better there in that first race, 13 points to 7. We move on to race 3, it is now 14-13, Sasquatch has a narrow lead now over Ragefist, and uh, Sasquatch is in the lead, here comes Ragefist around the outside, oh he's on top of Sasquatch! And, well, that's one way to stop your opponent getting away, but it's not going to make a difference because it's 20 to 16. So, an interesting move there to um, try and stop him winning, but it didn't work. Insane G versus Kid Fairburn now. Insane G in the teal-coloured, um, or turquoise, whatever you call it, in the um, Indy car. Kid Fairburn in the Tachita Formula E car, and he's got a lead here. Uh, and saying, geez, closing the gap, will it be enough? No, he's not going to close the gap in time. So 13-7 to 7 for Kid Fairburn. Good start for him, for the Formula E car. Now he's on the outside with Insane G on the inside. Both of these drivers have been here before and haven't done overly well. So they'll be really looking to prove themselves. And Kid Fairburn, oh, he's on his roof. Here comes Insane G. Oh, Insane G spins out. Well, he... Couldn't really get around him, could he? So nowhere to go. He crashes out and Kid Fairburn wins it. 21 to 10. So here's your points table after the first two races. Kid Fairburn and Sasquatch at the top. Angron, Ragefist and Insane G yet to get off the mark. And it is now Sasquatch versus Kid Fairburn. And I've got a message. That's exciting. And popular. Ooh. Um, Kid Fairburn on the inside, so we've got our two winners from the first races here, and Kid Fairburn has the lead, Sasquatch is not far behind though, he's closing the gap slightly, now is he going to try and get around, he's going in reverse, he's not going to be able to get around as they both come flying out of the last corner, it's both out of control, but Kid Fairburn takes the 13 points, Sasquatch on 7, so that Tachita is looking very good, isn't it? Sasquatch on the inside. He's oh no, he's been out muscled in the first corner, and here comes Kid Fairburn. Oh, he's crashed out of the uh, the turn four, and oh, did he cross the line there? I think he did just cross the line and bounce back, Sasquatch. So he will take a 19 points to set. No, he's, in fact, he's behind 19 to seven. Kid Fairburn's still slightly ahead. Kid Fairburn losing control in turn four. Sasquatch had a Formula E car on top of him in his first race, and he's got the lead this time. This is the first time he's really been in the lead, besides winning race two, and he's going to finish the race, and he's going to win it. So come from behind victory there for Sasquatch. Look at that, impressive, 30 points. Kid Fairburn, 19. So Sasquatch is nearly through to the semi-finals now. He's not quite through if my, map, if my calculations are correct. And saying G versus Angron Ragefist, so the two losers, so it's a very important race here for these guys to win. They really need to get some points on the board, because I've only got one more race after this, it is round robin. Angron Ragefist on the inside, and he's got a big lead already, he's stretching it out. Uh, where's Insane G gone? Not sure, but Angron Ragefist is going to finish, yes he is, here comes Insane G. Insane G's going to finish too. It's so a great driving, that all round great driving so far, isn't it? 13 to 7, we're seeing a lot of 13 to 7s. That is of course when both drivers finish the race, and usually we don't have that on this channel, two drivers finishing. 
and Grand Rage Fist on the outside, and he's got the lead again. Oh, he almost goes up on the hook wall. Oh, and that was a great move around the outside from Insane G. And Insane G's going to finish the race. Is it? Oh, no, he's lost it. No, he is going to finish the race. Had trouble coming out of turn five there, but what a move on turn two. And Grand Rage Fist was really out of control and did not leave Insane G much room at all. And in fact, we're going to see this again, I believe. Now, here goes And Grand Rage Fist in the lead. He's starting to stretch it out, but look at that. He, he gets some air and loses control. He's going backwards. Now he's on the side and... Well, sideways, but... Uh, Insane G managed to squeeze on through. In fact, I think there's a little bit of contact there, but he still managed to keep his car going in a straight line. So great driving from Insane G there. He is two points ahead of Angron Rage Fist. And Angra, no! Oh, I thought Angra Ragefist had the lead there. There's a battle here. Angra Ragefist closes the gap. And St. G blocks him. And St. G's on his roof. And Angra Ragefist is going to take it. But it's St. G's taking the points. 27 to 26. What a battle right up until the end. And St. G had the lead through most of that. So that is why he is going to get the points. So it's Sasquatch, Kid Fairburn, Insane G, and Angron Ragefist. Angron Ragefist is not out of this, even though he hasn't got a win yet. But meanwhile, Sasquatch versus Insane G. And, well, Sasquatch is all but through. Insane G really needs to do well here to have a chance of going through in second. But he's behind. Sasquatch is, well, he's a bit, he's a bit side to side there. But, oh, no, no, he's... Put his foot down, and Gary the Giant couldn't keep up. And he's got a big lead. Look at that, 13 to 2. So Insane G really needs to pull it out of his... Out of his... Out, family show. Out of his... Uh, out of his mouth. He needs to pull it out of his mouth for this one. 13 to 2. He he is on the outside too, so he's, oh, he's already been dragged off the line. And Sasquatch is way out in front. Can Gary the Drunk keep up with him this time? He can, but he's going to win easily. And that's that means that Insane G is out. If my calculations are correct, Insane G will not go through to the semi-finals. Which is disappointing after that stellar passing move in his second race. So, yes, look at that. Insane G, he, he's behind Kid Fairburn with one race to go. And Kid Fairburn has a 5.5 uh, lap lead over him. Kid Fairburn versus Angron Ragefist now. And Angron Ragefist needs to win by two laps to nil to have any chance. So Kid Fairburn's all but got this in the bag. But Ragefist is in the lead. And oh no here comes Kid Fairburn. Kid Fairburn can't get around him. And this time no! No! Oh! Some great blocking from Angron Ragefist has given him the 13 points to 7 lead. We're going to see a replay here. It was all going so well for him, but he just lost control out of the U the re-U turn. And Kid Fairburn managed to close the gap, but he didn't go around. He just tries to push him out the way. Then he loses a bit of control through turn 4, at which gave Angron Ragefist the big lead again, but then loses control on the last turn. And Kid Fairburn... Didn't know which way to go, and he just spun out, and then both of them just crawl across the line. <laughs> Slowest ever finish, but a real close finish as well. So Kid Fairburn, st well, al almost, this is a winner-takes-all lap, isn't it? And it is Kid Fairburn. Kid Fairburn is in the lead through one and two, and he's been pushed off the road! Is this going to be enough for Agron Ragefist? Well, he's in the lead, so of course it will. Agron Ragefist will go through! Wow! He just it looked like he threw Kid Fairburn off the track. That is some dodgy racing from Angron Ragefist, but it is enough. And look at that, Sharky magically appears. Trickery of the camera there, or tr trickery of Sharky. Now look at this, Kid Fairburn has the lead. He goes high and manages to block Angron Ragefist. Oh, his back end gets way up in the air. It sends him into the wall and sends him into a spin. And he's still spinning down... The second to third straight, and look at that. Angron Ragefist just picks him up and throws him over the edge. Dodgy, dodgy racing there. So, Sasquatch and Angron Ragethrist. Ragethrist? 
Bridge Fist are through to the next round. The Drivers World Rankings, well, we have only one change, and that is Insane Jack. Well, no, we have two changes, because Kid Fairburn's Fair Fair on to uh, sixth place on the rankings. And Insane G's dropped down to, uh, he's dropped down to seven, so he's down to 18th. So, interesting semi-finals already. Well, the two who are through. I did not pick those through. Those, those, oh, I can't speak again. Those two. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I have been Matthew Harding. Please check out our two channels, Riley's Racing uh, DRC and um, Silver Fox uh, Diecast Racing. Thank you again. I will see you all in the next video, which will be the Celebrity Cup, um, the second half of the round of 32.